Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about E10 fuel. You may or may not have heard it, but it's coming in whether you like it or not. It's supposedly green, which it really isn't. Um, ethanol, and they're adding it to our fuel. We, at present minute, run E5, and the, the main thing they're telling everybody is that it's better for the environment, uh, more sustainable, because it's biofuel, etc., for your cars. What they're not telling you is if you have a moped, motorbike, realistically, what's going to happen? Now, ethanol in your fuel, alcohol based, um, will give you more power and it's cleaner for the environment. The downside, they're not telling really, is that you'll use more of it. Should be cheap, but it's not going to be. And it damages your car. And what I mean by that is, for motorbikes, anything above 2011 is going to be fine this speed bike behind me actually has E10 ready. But if you have an older moped, older car, and there's a big list of cars, um, from VWs, um, Golfs, Escorts if you're old, um, 50ccs, this ethanol that is in the fuel damages the fuel lines, damages a carburetor, and this one I'm mentioning more mopeds. This sort of selection here, of the Boration or the Pulse um, 50cc mopeds, old speed fights. They've not mentioned much about big bikes, but it will be the same. And it damages the interior workings of here. Copper, okay, your floats are copper. If you've got um, jets in it are copper, any other little bits, the ethanol in the petrol will damage these. It corrodes them. The gasket, it corrodes them as well. The fuel lines, it corrodes them. This stuff will cause long-term damage to the engines. Uh, the catalyst as well, if you've got a catalyst on there, it will cause damage to the main core. So, for a small gain of supposed environment, but this is normally a sugar beet, maize, they're making, it's got fields of this, then they've got to manufacture the stuff through coal powered fire stations, and then to put this in with your fuel. Sort of counterproductive, someone's making some big money out of this, but for the small amount you're gaining, you're still going to put more fuel in there, they say it's better performance, that's, that's, I suppose, would be because it's more alcohol based, I guess. So the octane amount, we use 95, 98, this will lower that octane amount, that's why you can use more. It's gonna be harder to start your car, older cars, and most certainly harder to start your mopeds. If you put, and I've seen a lot of tricks with this, water into a E10 fuel, the ethanol will sink to the bottom because it's attracted to water. So ethanol, attracts water so if you've got a metal petrol tank and you're leaving your fuel in your bike for a length of time it will cause rust it will rust the fuel lines it will damage the seals and damage the carburetor you know they're really not hyping this up are they it's not going to be good my suggestion would be if you're running a moped or motorbike and then you want to store it up drain all the fuel out of everywhere you can that's going to be the most thing i'm going to say and another suggestion would be is to put high octane or super 98 grade mix it in with it to do half and half tank not great if you've got an eight litre tank is it so you can get with fuel cans like the old days or it would be to run high octane and then the e10 you do it you know every other fuel um top up otherwise you really are going to start damaging your moped motorbike old classic cars though i added this you can get to them i don't know who's gaining out of this, I don't think we're the public are, I don't think because you're using more fuel, which you're going to get less miles to the gallon, and damage your cars, maybe it's a way of getting all the old cars off the road, and we'll go electric, because you all know how good lithium batteries are, don't we? I don't know if any of you have done some research about this lithium and these precious metals that have to gouge out of the bottom of the oceans, or mine strip it with young people digging it out. That's not sustainable, and then they're going to add charges to your electric cars in five years. They've already said this for the amount of fuels not being used. And if you're old enough like me, old git now, <laughs> you remember the diesel days and 90s. Get a diesel, it's great for the environment. Oh, that's bad stuff now, you're killing everybody. That's what we're going to see with this ethanol, and it's hard for me to say that. And electric cars, what's next? Hydrogen? To be honest with you, it's, a, it's, it's not nice. And if you go on a DVLA website here in the UK, doesn't tell you much, just anything older than 2010 you're doomed, some will work, here's a list of what we don't think will work and there's a list there, 
anything older you have to add more octane as well as lead additives to the classic cars and the mopeds you know you're just going to keep wondering why your electric starting electric starting it's not going to go with very well at all and then you're wondering why six months a year they don't know yet how much time it would take to damage it people with mopeds often store them up for three or four months it's the worst thing you can do with this e10 petrol if you're going to look at this 2018 speed fight which i'm working on now this is a 125 and you're starting noticing little stickers like this with E10 there. And some of you may start noticing now on the pump, you know, it used to have 95 and 98, now it's going to have E5 replaced with E10. So at least by watching this, hopefully you'll be ready for it and try and get the additives or swapping round, whatever we're going to do. We've not been asked, not been consulted, just told it's better for the environment. That's what they say. Yeah. So there you go. If you're wondering why your ped's breaking down, not running right, less supposedly more power but less miles to the gallon and most certainly not going to help it at all when it breaks down. You'll know why. There you go, short video about E10. Do some research for yourselves and you'll see what I'm trying to say. Take care of yourselves on the road. Keep running as long as you can. Bye bye.